if I were to tell you that even supermarket shopping can be a fun thing to do in Paris. There is one gourmet store in Paris that I would put high up on your list of places to go, you know, alongside the landmarks and the museums. This place is a must. This video is about La Grande Épicerie de Paris. I mean, sure, it's like any other supermarket. You can go in there to pick up your butter, your milk, your chicken, vegetables, whatever you get from a supermarket. But this one is in a beautiful building in the 6th arrondissement. It has eateries that will blow your taste spots away. And it's probably the best place to put together a picnic, like the most kick-ass picnic that you could have in Paris. So there are a few gourmet supermarkets around the world that market themselves as the most expensive or the most luxurious. You know, places like Dean & DeLuca or Food Emporium in New York, Harrods Food Hall or Fortnum & Mason in London, or Colina in Singapore. But La Grande Épicerie de Paris is probably pretty high up on that list. It's definitely the chicest supermarket there is because, you know, chic is a French word. <laughs> Let's face it. So the most extravagant food items you can throw in your basket are most probably European, like French champagne, Belgian beer, Swiss chocolate, Italian truffles, or Spanish ham. Or um, Normandy oysters paired with champagne while sitting at the supermarket. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Since La Grande Épicerie de Paris is in the European Union, they get to have these products without paying any extra charges. Sorry, Harrod. It's like Europe is one big gourmet table at your disposal. <laughs> Ordinary supermarkets in France are pretty amazing. I mean, every time I've been outside of France for an extended period of time and I come back, that is one of the things that I want to do first. Go to a supermarket, it feels like being in Disneyland, just like yum, 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 I want this, I want that. It's great. But this is even better. It has all the good French stuff in normal supermarkets, but also a few of the things that you can't really source that easily. The building itself is an architectural landmark. It's part of the Bon Marché department stores. If you give your chauffeur a day off, <laughs> the metro stop is Sèvres Babylon. Behind the beautiful Somme facade is actually a modern layout that straddles the line between being a normal supermarket with shopping carts and a, some serious design flair. And for that Paris picnic, what you can do is go to the deli and get some of the best cuts. And cheeses, of course. Hey, this is France. You can cook some 20 euro pasta or take your pick from some American peanut butter, if that's your thing. I mean, no judgment. <laughs> but no picnic would be complete without a good bottle of French wine. That's the law. And you definitely won't come up short with the store's wine section. I mean, it's a whole floor on its own. I mean, it doesn't even have to be French wine. Suck it. At its heart, it's seriously a supermarket, even if it's a super chic one. You can still go around and shop for the normal things that you shop. The prices are a little bit higher than you would find other places. Some specific items are really expensive because they've sourced it from wherever. But don't be too afraid, you can actually have a look. The, some of the items I found were pretty much the same price or maybe even a little bit less expensive than my normal supermarket. And there's an oyster bar. <laughs> Did I mention that already? <laughs> so good, it was so good. I love oysters. <laughs> so look, this is an ad for this place. I mean, I'm not getting paid to <laughs> do this video. This is actually one of the places that I really like. I don't normally go there to do my shopping, but if there's something that I can't find, I'll go look for it there. Like the other day I was looking for this chai latte mix and uh, I've been looking for it for two months and I didn't find any until I went there and Putain. there it was. Putain, ça fait longtemps que je cherche. So there you have it, a little recommendation for something to do in Paris. That's definitely a place for putting together that picnic or just, you know, uh, doing something unusual after a day of doing museums. Enjoy and while you're there, please hit that subscribe button and bye.